Welcome back. Problem 1-86. This problem is taken from chapter number 1, Stress, and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hebler. So, statement is the two aluminum rods supports the vertical force of 20 kN. Determine their required diameters if allowable tensile stress for the aluminum is 150 MPa. So, you can see this is rod AB and this is rod AC that is acted upon by a 20 kN load acts downwards. So due to this load, there will be a tensile stress in rod AB as well as in AC. And this rod AB makes an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal. So you have to find the diameter of rod AB as well as diameter of rod AC. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that we will take this point A and we will draw the free body diagram. So P is acting downward. So uh, this rod exert a force in this direction on point A as well as this rod exert a force in this direction which is FAC and this is FAB. Clear? So we will draw the free body diagram. Free body diagram. So let this is your point A. Clear? This is A. So at A we have P which is acting downward. This is rod force in rod. The rod AB exert a force FAB at point A and this makes an angle of 45 degree. Similarly this rod AC will exert a force in this direction FAC. Clear? And this is your point A. So we will apply equation of equilibrium. So the first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So you can see FAB will have two components. One component will be along x direction. Clear. One is x component. Clear. Which is FAB cos of 45 degree and one, one will be its y component which will be the vertical component and this component will be FAB sine of 45 degree. So you can see one component which is FAB sine of 45 degree clear and this P which is 20 kN that is acting downward. Their sum must be equal to 0. So I will write minus 20 is equal to 0. So FAB will be equal to 20 divided by sine of 45 degree. And when you calculate this force, so force in member, force exerted by member AB at point A will be equal to 28.284 kilo newton. Now we will find this FAC by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force in this direction is taken as positive. So FAC is in opposite direction so I will write minus FAC and this component FAB cause of 30, 45 degrees in positive direction so FAB cause of 45 degree is equal to 0. So FAC will be equal to FAB cos of 45 degrees. So FAB is 28.28 into cos of 45 degree. And when you calculate it, you will get this force offered by member AC at point A will be equal to 20 kN. 20 kilo. Newton. Now these are the forces that is acted upon by this member on point A and this member uh, th this exert a force in this direction and this exert force in this direction. As, as a result due to Newton third law this due to this load P it will cause the tensile strength st stresses in these rods. So we will find this we have been given that stress we know that stress is equal to force per unit area clear so 
we have been given tensile allowable tensile stress allowable tensile stress is equal to force per unit area so what we will do is that for rod for rod ab we have allowable stress is equal to fab divided by area of rod ab so we have allowable stress which is 150 megapascal so 150 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to FAB which is 28.28 kilonewton so kilo is converted into newton divided by this is circular rod so its area will be pi by 4 DAB square so pi by 4 DAB square so from here you will get DAB square is equal to 28.28 into 10 to the power 3 divided by pi by 4 into 150 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 and if you take square root on both sides it's clear so you will get diameter of rod AB will be equal to 0 0.0155 meter and in millimeter D diameter of rod AB will be equal to 15.5 meter millimeter sorry now we'll find for rod ac so for rod ac we have allowable tensile stress is equal to fac divided by a area of ac so fac is 20 kilonewtons so 20 into 10 to the power 3 divided by area is pi by 4 we are interested to find out diameter so dac square allowable stress is 150 megapascal so 150 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to 20 into 10 to the power 3 divided by pi by 4 into dac square so from here dac square will be equal to 20 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 divided by pi by 4 multiplied by 150 into 10 to the power 6 and if you take square root on both sides so you will get diameter of rod ac will be equal to 0 0.0130 meter which is equal to 13 millimeter and that is the answers of this question so diameter of rod AB is 15.5 while diameter of rod AC is 13 millimeter for the above given load. And that was all about this problem 1-86. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. Also share my videos with your friends and help me in growing further. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.